France-Mexico relations. France-Mexico relations are the diplomatic relations between France and Mexico. Both nations are members of the G-20 major economies, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the United Nations. 1821 minus 1860. In 1821, soon after obtaining independence from the Spanish Empire, Emperor Agustin de Tobago of Mexico sent his foreign minister to the court of King Louis Roman XVIII of France to ask for recognition of the newly independent nation. However, King Louis Roman XVIII refused to recognize Mexico because of its alliance with Spain. On 26 November 1826, France proposed resolving the problem of recognition by establishing trade relations with a Mexican company, thus establishing an official relations with Mexico. It was not until September 1830 that France recognized and established diplomatic relations with Mexico, following the July Revolution, the forced abdication of King Charles X of France, and the removal of the House of Bourbon from power. That same year, both nations opened resident diplomatic legations in each country's capital, respectively. During the early years of their diplomatic relations, Mexico and France were not always on friendly terms, particularly with the beginning of the Pastry War in November 1838 March 1839, known also as the First French Intervention in Mexico, where France invaded Mexico in order to collect recompensation for property damaged and were looted by Mexican forces. During the war, France, with the assistance of the United States, blockaded Mexican ports, thus crippling the economy. Three months later, Mexico agreed to pay France 600,000 pesos in compensation. 1861-1867. The second French intervention in Mexico began in December 1861, when Emperor Napoleon Roman III invaded Mexico on the pretext that Mexico had refused to pay its foreign debt, though in reality, the Emperor wanted to take advantage of the American Civil War to expand his empire in Latin America. After a successful French invasion of Mexico, Napoleon Roman III installed his Austrian cousin, Maximilian I of Mexico of the House of Habsburg, as Emperor of Mexico in 1864. For several years, Mexican rebels under President Benito Juarez and with additional support from the United States fought against French and royalist troops. Once the Union won the American Civil War in 1865, the U.S. allowed supporters of President Juarez to openly purchase weapons and ammunition and issued stronger warnings to Paris. The United States sent General William Tecumseh Sherman with 50,000 combat veterans to the Mexican border to emphasize that time had run out on a French intervention. Napoleon Roman III had no choice but to withdraw his outnumbered army in disgrace. Emperor Maximilian refused exile and was executed by the Mexican government in 1867 in Corretera, thus ending the Second Mexican Empire. The events of the 1860 are commemorated in both France and Mexico to this day. In Mexico, Cinco de Mayo commemorates the Mexicans' victory over the French troops at the Battle of Puebla 5 May 1862. Another defeat of the French the destruction of the small, but heroic, French Foreign Legion force at the Battle of Camarón 30 April 1863 is annually commemorated by the French Foreign Legion as the Camarón Day. 20th century in 1911, Mexican President Porfirio Diaz, a former general who fought against the French during the Second French Intervention in Mexico, and a Francophile, left Mexico for exile in Paris where he died in 1915 and is buried at the Montparnasse Cemetery. In December 1926, the Mexican government purchased property on Avenue du President Wilson and en route along Champ, which are now the current residence and embassy of Mexico in Paris. In 1940, during World War Roman II, Mexico opened a consulate in Marseille to represent Mexico in Vichy, France, and was led by Gilberto Bosque Sadovar. As consul, Bosque Saldivar issued approximately 40,000 visas to Jews and Spanish Republicans fleeing to Mexico. In 1943, Bosques, his family, and 40 consular staff members were arrested by the Gestapo and detained in a hotel prison in Germany for a year before being released in 1944. In 1942, Mexico severed diplomatic relations with the government of Vichy France and instead maintained diplomatic relations with the French government in exile also known as Free France led by General Charles de Gaulle in London. Full diplomatic relations were restored between both nations at the end of the war in Europe in 1945. 21st century. In December 2005, a French citizen called Florence Cassis was arrested in Mexico and charged with kidnapping, organized crime and possession of firearms. She was found guilty by a Mexican court and sentenced to 60 years imprisonment. Cassis always maintained her innocence which began a diplomatic dispute between Mexico and France. At the time, President Nicolas Sarkozy asked the Mexican government to allow Cassis to serve her sentence in France, however the requests were denied. In 2009, Mexico cancelled its participation of 2011, the year of Mexico in France, 350 events, films and symposiums in planned as the French President Sarkozy declared that this year-long event was going to be dedicated to Cassis, and each individual event would have some sort of remembrance of the Frenchman. In January 2013, the Mexican Supreme Court ordered her release and Cassis was flown immediately back to France. Since her release, France pledged to assist Mexico in creating a gendarmerie in Mexico at the request of President Enrique Peña Nieto. On 6 July 2017, Presidents Enrique Peña Nieto and French President Emmanuel Macron met in Paris before the G-20 summit in Hamburg, Germany. During their meeting, the leaders exchanged their views on trade, multilateralism, the fight against terrorism and climate change.
In July 2021, Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard paid a visit to France and met with his counterpart Jean Yves Drain and with President Emmanuel Macron. During the visit, both nations discussed the current COVID-19 pandemic and both nations signed a declaration of intent on strengthening cooperation against the illicit trafficking of cultural property in order to identify mechanisms to protect and curb the traffic and pillage of cultural property illegally extracted from Mexico and subsequently marketed. High-level visits High-level visits from France to Mexico, President Charles de Gaulle 1964, President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing 1979, President François Mitterrand 1981, President Jacques Chirac 1998, 2002, 2004, President Nicolas Sarkozy 2009, President François Hollande 2012, 2014. High-level visits from Mexico to France, President Adolfo López Mateos 1963, President Luis Echeverria Alvarez 1973, President José López Portillo 1980, President Miguel de la Madrid Otodo 1985, President Carlos Salinas de Gortari 1989, 1992, President Ernesto Zadilla 1997, President Vicente Fox 2001, May and November 2002, 2003, President Felipe Calderón 2007, 2011, President Enrique Peñaida July and November 2015, July and December 2017. While lateral agreements both nations have signed several bilateral agreements, such as an Agreement on Favourable Nation 1827, Agreement on French Commerce and Navigation 1886, Agreement on Copyright Protection 1950, Trade Agreement 1951, Agreement on Air Transportation 1952, Agreement on Scientific and Technical Cooperation 1965, Agreement on Economic Cooperation 1981, Agreement of Cooperation between Pemex and Dutales 1981, Franco-Mexican Declaration on Political Violence in El Salvador 1981, Agreement on Work and Holiday Visas 2011, Agreement on Cooperation in the Peaceful Uses of Nuclear Energy 20. 2015, Agreement on Social Security 2015, Agreement on Mutual Academic Recognition 2015, Aeronautical Agreement 2015, and an Agreement of Cooperation between French and Mexican Universities 2015. Tourism and Transportation In 2016, 250,000 French citizens visited Mexico for tourism. That same year, 477,000 Mexican citizens visited France for tourism. There are direct flights between France and Mexico with the following airlines, Air Mexico and Air France, with direct flights available from Cancun and Mexico City International Airports to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. Border Disputes France and Mexico do not presently share a land border, although in the 18th century French Louisiana did border New Spain. The closest land to the French Pacific Clipperton Island is Mexico, and the two countries disputed the island's ownership for several decades, until international arbitration finally awarded it to France in 1931. Trade Relations in 1997, Mexico signed a free trade agreement with the European Union which includes France. In 2018, two-way trade between France and Mexico amounted to US for a dollar's billion. France's main exports to Mexico include medicine, vaccinations, automobile parts, helicopters, airplanes, perfumes, makeup and electrical equipment. Mexico's main export products to France include telephones, petroleum-based products, computers, medical devices, turbines, cables and automobile parts. Between 1999 and 2017, French companies invested over a year $7 billion in Mexico. Mexico is France's second largest trading partner in Latin America after Brazil. Over 500 French companies operate in Mexico and several Mexican multinational companies operate in France. Resident Diplomatic Missions France has an embassy in Mexico City and a consulate general in Monterrey. Mexico has an embassy in Paris and a liaison office in Strasbourg. File and Bajada de Francia and Ciudad de Mexico, JPG Embassy of France in Mexico City, File and Bajada de Mexico, Paris, JPG Embassy of Mexico in Paris, File Consulado General de Mexico in Paris, JPG Consulate General of Mexico in Paris.